Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Ecliptic Spiritualist channel. Welcome new subscribers, those that have been with us for a while on this channel, friends of the family here of the North Node community, and welcome to the channel. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe here to the channel, join our website, and much more. So I'm going to get right into the part two of bad luck. Can am I, Are you the reason for bad luck or did you bring bad luck to you? I get those questions about bad luck. People ask me during readings, consultations, um, genetically, if it's in their downline, like when they came through birth, is it due to maybe a family member, someone that you're dating, different things like that. So the part one is already up and I'm going to go into part two. Now, here's a couple of scenarios also about whether bad luck is something that you uh, brought to yourself or have you been cursed or hexed and those type of things. So number four, I got three that's already up and I'm giving you the three additional, so it's six. So the fourth one about bad luck is you are doing the same thing again and again. You're always going on about how unlucky you are and it even it's even the little things. So Let's say that every time you go to the grocery store, for example, and you miss a miss a sale and your friend always get it, but you keep losing track of time and going late. Um, even if the homeless man on the street yells at you, but you keep giving him dirty looks. These are examples and you can't explain why you are so unlucky with money or every month it runs out. Money runs out, but you you still never sat down and made a budget despite Three friends telling you to do so, okay? So you look at the first video was three about bad luck, and I did give you a spell to do with that. And then I'm giving you some scenarios about whether or not is it is bad luck, do I always have it, or do you attract it? These are things that you can see how it works about luck. We blame it on luck, but when really we are being stubborn about sticking to our ruts, and we don't actually want to change. OK, you have to put things in place to try out things to see whether or not if it is you or is it something in reference to, uh, a, you know, someone else. But you have to first look at yourself. OK, am I tracking things? Am I doing the same thing and expecting a different result? You know, that can cause luck problems, especially if you're not checking yourself, looking at things about for yourself. OK, and then we have number five is um, before I get in that, you want to make sure you want to change patterns. That's what I want to add to that. You want to first test things out to see if you need to change a pattern. Um, and sometimes that takes work, which that sometimes it takes hard work. You have to be committed first to see if you could change some patterns around and it's discomforting. It's discomforting trying to change a pattern. But you can learn new things. Making mistakes is there, but blaming it on bad luck is easier to say, oh, I got bad luck because it is. I got bad luck. Well, you got bad luck because you're not changing things. Uh, maybe put yourself on a, a commitment of 30 days or first 21 days to change a cycle to see if you do something different, what's happening. You know, what's happening? So you have to apply something for a while to see, change a habit, okay, to see if that's the reasoning. Also, too, you find yourself yourself surrounding yourself with people who increase your misery. You know, there's a, a joke that goes around that you aren't depressed, you are just hanging around idiots. You know, that's a little inside joke that people say, but in one way, it's not a very funny joke at all because depression is a very deliberate, debilitating and deliberate when you don't know illness. And if you are a sufferer of it, it can strike out of the blue and very little can seem to budget. So what I'm saying about that is that on the other hand, you don't want to keep being around other people because their energy may be negative and it takes an influence over you, basically. So on you want to try something new. Don't surround yourself around people that are misery, that are miserable because of why. It creates bad luck and it misery is rather contagious. If this person is miserable, 
you're going to be miserable. If you're hanging around miserable people, you're going to be miserable. If you're attracting people that are mis in misery, you're going to be in misery. Okay? Um, you want to make sure that you are looking at healthy connections where you feel relaxed and able to be totally yourself and accept that about yourself. Not only that lowers depression, but it also is shown in research to increase your health and longevity. Lots of times people get into a, a depression state besides it being diagnosed depression. Okay, we have that set of depression where you can be diagnosed. Those are real. Chemical imbalances is real. You have to address it with a physician and counseling. But then there are, you know, seasons in our lives, in all of our lives, we don't miss it, that we may be depressed. It may be due to a loss or numerous things that could bring on offset depression, but it'll it'll leave you as you as it as you learn to navigate through it. That's different. Okay. So you want to make sure that you be around healthy connections so that that way it shows that it lowers stress and lowers recycling yourself with getting um, not good outcomes in your life. And it also increases health and longevity. Okay. And the last but not least of this part too is you have formed your identity around being a victim. You want to pay attention to that. This can be a tough one for people to admit. And after that, you can, and after all, you could be experiencing some, some kind of trauma by you being maybe identifying yourself as a constant victim. You know, you deserve people's empathy about something that may have negatively happened, but you don't need to identify yourself over and over. I'm a victim, 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 I'm a victim. And then what happens is it creates um, bad luck. And it's also tough to admit to people because you're cycling that energy around. Okay. Um, so you want to feel that sometimes people feel like life is unfair. They may keep saying that over and over again as well. A part of the victim mentality. And what happens, it develops even more trauma and it worsens even more. Okay. So you want to be cautious of that. That can formulate bad luck a victim part of you. And if you have had some major trauma uh, in your life, it could be low trauma, maybe trauma, something that hurts you, seek counseling. You can always call us for diagnosis consultations, talk through things to see if that's that, or go to a counselor through your personalized insurance or your state insurance. Number seven is you haven't spent time seeking meaning and purpose. That is a way to break bad luck. We aren't always necessarily here to have one big, clear life purpose, but we can go after knowing what our life purpose is, what we're meaning, what meanings is brought to us, um, being taking downtime with yourself to learn what your purpose is, maybe coming up with one or two things. And that always, purpose is always tied to some of your gifts, your abilities that you have. And your abilities are going to be different than other people. And that means don't get stuck because somebody else have a different talent than you have a talent. We all were brought here with talents, okay? Um, so that is something that I wanted to um, go over, you know. And I want to give you some of the tips on what is a lucky person. Besides doing spell work, you know, we do do spell work on bringing in good luck to people. Also, to um you can, like we said, if you be around people over and over again, it can circulate an energy of, of bad luck. All the things I've said were part one and part two. And you have to do work to push that energy away. And we do do spell work on that. So some of the, the lucky energy that we talk about is when actually generating good fortune is four basic principles. And those principles are creating and noticing chance opportunities. Okay. Listening to your intuition, creating a self-fulfilling prophecies or via positive expectations of yourself, journaling, journaling good things, looking at affirmations, reading them over and over in your head, saying them out loud, writing them out loud. It creates luck. Adapt a resilient attitude that transforms bad luck into good luck. 
Okay. So in saying that, I love you for watching today. You can watch part one to go along with this part two. I gave you the bonus here of the basic um, principles to lucky people and, the, and the, the seven one about knowing your purpose. But if you are experiencing any bad luck symptoms or different things like that, you can always contact me for a psychic therapeutic reading, contact me for spell work, contact me for diagnostic consultations, come to our master classes and understand more about yourself as a spiritual practitioner. If you come into this channel, I'm a, um, if you come into this channel, you're either looking or seeking or the middle or the beginning or somewhere in your spiritual personal practice as a spiritual practitioner. Um, you can contact me on those. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to videos. Join our website and sign up with your email so that you can get updates from us. Okay, we do offer a Patreon account. So much more. You can actually join here on YouTube where it has a little thank you button and tip for the videos or also join a membership here that will help support the content that we bring. Don't forget to uh, like, share, uh, dig deep in yourself and trust in yourself first always. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.